Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. iPhone 11 on iOS 14.4.2, let's take a look. If you want short but detailed iOS 4 reviews that cover the devices you care about, make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you always know if it's safe to update or not. Since the iPhone 11 is the second newest iPhone and iOS 14.4.2 only brings a security fix, we do see overall performance remain unchanged since updating from iOS 14.4.1. This iPhone will push through any and all day-to-day -day tasks that you throw at it without any issues. Now animations have still been flawless on the iPhone 11 in my experience, and this release of iOS 14 is no exception. Animations remain incredibly smooth, so that is definitely a good thing. Now RAM management is unchanged as well, but that is not a bad thing since the iPhone 11 does have 4GB of RAM compared to 2GB of the 2016 iPhone SE or iPhone 7. The iPhone 11 does not experience too many reloads on this latest iOS 14 release, though they do occur here and there. Now before I get into battery life, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone 11 is running off of a maximum capacity of 96% and has had no restarts. This means that my iPhone 11 is not being performance throttled. Now battery life took a hit with iOS 14.4.1 and of course, this is really no different with iOS 14.4.2. iOS 14.4.2 does seem to be slightly better, but it's nothing major. You'll still be able to pull off a full day of regular use, however. Keep in mind that your battery performance can and will most likely vary from mine. Now overheating is the same as well, so there's really no point in spending a ton of time talking about it, it only happens when you're performing a much heavier task, which is just natural. While virtually everything remains the same, as expected, there is slight improvement in things like overall battery life. However, we still come back to our main question of should you update? Well, if you're on an early release of iOS 14, then I'd say just update at this point unless you do care for jailbreaking. If you're on iOS 13 and want to update, I'd recommend waiting for the full release of iOS 14.5, but you can still update to this release. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now if you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, using the link in the description, you can follow me on Twitter. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.